Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. Now, I know I haven't been posting videos in the last week, but I'm back again. It was an awesome tour. It was Mumbai, Goa and Bangalore. But again, we are going to talk about technical things again. If you are new to the channel, we talk about technical things, programming, codings and everything that runs and revolves around computer. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Now let's talk about the top five Linux distribution, not distribution, Linux operating systems that comes around. Now, definitely first thing that you should look around on the blogs is the, dis is the difference between the distributions and the operating system. That's a new topic I have just given you with my fumble. But again, let's not worry about that. So let's talk about the top five operating system based on Linux, which you can check out and definitely you should consider if you are new in learning Linux. Now on my list, the top five, in the top five, the fifth position is for the Red Hat, the famous Red Hat. Now why I have placed it on the fifth position, although it's really great, because it charges you a little bit of the money and have some of the copyright issues that you can fell upon. Now if you are into the training industry or you are a company who doesn't actually bother in spending a little amount of dollars in paying Red Hat for their awesome and killer support, definitely Red Hat is something that you should consider for. Now for the students, it's really awesome because the learning path for the Red Hat is actually being provided by Red Hat itself. You can go for the RHCE, RHCSA and different kind of certification that Red Hat offers, but they do charge money and a lot of money. But definitely this is a great platform where you can start learning Linux and a lot of corporate organization which are hosting your uh, websites and everything actually do prefer to use Red Hat quite a lot. So definitely it's a good option. Now on list number four is the CentOS. Now you might have already seen the CentOS if you are in a college or in a university because it's actually a red hat, but just rip off all the branding and all these copyright stuff that comes up, just rip off all of that and here you go, you got your CentOS. Now definitely a great operating system. Uh, if you are in the college or university, your college actually prefers to install CentOS because it doesn't bother you about the branding. It doesn't cost you any single amount of dollar so that you can have a lot of Windows lab. It doesn't require that. It does come with the awesome YUM support, which is a lot of repositories, a lot of software that you are looking around, for example, GIMP in place of Photoshop. Again, it cannot replace Photoshop, but it's a good alternative and tons of other uh, familiar software like Chrome or maybe Firefox, dozens of lists is there, but it's definitely a good system. And one thing that I like about these two operating system is their YUM. Now, definitely there is a two genre of the repositories, the APT get, uh, APT get based and the YUM based. Now YUM based is all of them are actually maintained by the Red Hat. So you get all those Red Hat stuff uh, in the CentOS as well. Now on my list, the number third is Fedora. Now Fedora is again a brand of the Red Hat. By the way, this video is not at all sponsored by Red Hat or any of them. Red Hat actually uh, dominant a lot of things in the open source society. So on my list, the Fedora is there too on the list number three. Now, why I have considered Fedora? Because Fedora is really awesome, first of all. And the second thing, the Fedora is actually a little bit compact uh, compared to those guys. Now, they are very famous for the server editions and stuff, but Fedora is more over like a desktop user. If you are familiar and would like to use more over the graphical stuff, the awesome graphical stuff, uh, like everything to be done or happen to be installed, like just with a click mouse or just finding the repository, hitting the click, then definitely Fedora is worth considering. Now on my list, the second position goes to the Debian. Now Debian is usually underrated, but comes with an awesome repository based on apt-get of course, but it is much more stable. I personally use Debian quite a lot. And one of the reasons why I use the Debian is simply because it comes up with Kali Linux. Now Kali Linux is, in case you know that, it, it's an upcoming upgrade or it's now an upgrade of the Backtrack. Now Backtrack was based on different things, but now this Kali has shifted totally on the Debian, which I think personally is a great move. Now Debian is again having a tons of repositories, a great amount of support, uh, but you cannot actually get the support directly. You have to look out for the forums and everything. 
but it's great. Now for those people who don't know what the Kali is, Kali is actually an open source operating system which is packed up with a lot of penetration testing or you can say hacking tools and that makes it super awesome because you don't have to spend time in looking for the tools. They are already there, cooked up, built up, ready to use. Now on my list, the number one position goes to the famous, no doubt at all, you can applaud for that, Ubuntu. Now, Ubuntu is really awesome. Now, one of the reasons why I liked Ubuntu in the early days, I don't know whether they do it yet or not. In the previous days, when I was starting to learn Linux, I was looking for somebody who can actually give me a Linux. It, it is 2.5 or 3 GB's operating system, which is not easy to download when you are living in a country like India, where it used to be a download speed of 10 kbps, which is really, I cannot bear that now, but it used to be that. Now, I filled up a forum and I signed up for that and Ubuntu actually shipped me a CD at my home and they didn't even charge me the shipping charges. So that made me the fan of Ubuntu in the early days. I don't know whether they do it now or not, but a CD at your home without any cost, it's really awesome. And now, why I like Ubuntu so much? Because they have got so much of the support online. So much of the forums are talking about the solutions. You obviously get a lot of uh, problems in the Linux, like your drivers are not working, your volume keys are not working, your Wi-Fi is not working and all such problems. Now, obviously the best way to find the solution is to look up for the online. And I found dozens of blogs, tons of forums discussing about the problems and taught me about how I can get uh, updated my repositories, what files I need to edit, what uh, things I need to do, what command I need to run, why I need to run them. All of these such awesome thing is actually the Ubuntu. Now Ubuntu also comes up with a variety of flavors. It comes up with the mobile, the desktop, the tablet, the servers and a lot of things. They also do run LTE like long term support, LTS and all such stuff. But again, we can talk about them in some later videos. So here is my top five list and definitely if you are a Windows or Mac user, definitely consider installing a virtual box or virtual player or fusion and try, give it a try to these operating system. Especially the crazy cool swiping effect in the Ubuntu that drive me crazy still. It's really awesome. But again, uh, also try out the Kali. But again, a lot of people are going to say that, hey, you haven't mentioned the Kali. Actually, I mentioned the Kali in the Debian one. I, I tried that. But in case I missed any one of them, which is super awesome, super cool, do mention them in the comment. I'll make another videos with your credits so that we can actually consider more of these awesome Linux distributions and operating system. So definitely uh, post down the comment there. Now, in case you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. And in case you think that somebody can get benefit from this video, share it on your Facebook or Twitter.